Now, how about sine cube x? Here we are multiplying sine x with itself three times. This one. Sine x with itself three times. So, let us look at the positive lobe. Multiply it by itself. Do you make it smaller or larger? You have already answered smaller. Multiply it again by sin x. Will you make it even smaller? Sin x is a fraction. Will you make it even smaller? Let me use another color for this. Yes, absolutely you will. You will make it even smaller. In fact, as a general rule, if you keep on multiplying sine, then you are making smaller and smaller and smaller. So here we go with one more. But what happens at 90 degrees pi by 2? One. There is no difference. So let me do it now here also. Okay, that's done. And now, how about uh, this lobe? You are multiplying it by itself one time, then one more time. So when you multiply one time with itself, you make it positive. That's why you got sine square x like this. But then when you multiply it one more time, then you do decrease its height, but you are keeping it on the negative side itself. So how about this? So that would be the graph for sine cube x. These lobes are just identical except for the fact that one is on the positive side and the other one is on the negative side. What do you think is the period of sine cube x? Sine cube x looks somewhat like sine x itself. You can see that this whole thing should repeat itself after this point. But it is not repeating itself before. It is the half of it is on the positive side and other half of it is on the negative side. So it is not repeating after pi, but will repeat itself after 2 pi. So the answer is 2 pi. So the answer is? So but as the graph goes on, it should be pi distance. So when the graph is cro crossing the x-axis, it's repeating at uh, pi distance. Okay. So when you when you speak, always uh, mute your speaker in case you are using big speaker because then that mic will pick up speaker's sound also. I could what I could make out from you what you said is that at pi the graph will cross over at pi. That's what I heard uh, what you said. So let me just use another graph here.
so as you can see at pi it is touching x axis but then after that it is not getting the same height take for example this height this height is some point uh, 2 let's say this height let's say is point 2 units but after it crosses y pi after it crosses pi it is not going to reach plus point 2 instead it comes below and it reaches minus point 2 for a function to be periodic it has to be exactly the same height with plus minus signs so we can't say that after pi it is repeating itself had it been this type of case two hills yes then we could have said this is point 2 this is point 2 and the answer would have been pi